If the going gets tough, look skyward and ask, please give me strength to accomplish my task. We kind of lose hope if we lose this place. For the students who've danced on these floors over the past six decades. Give that child dancing lessons. This old school art school in Studio City is like no place else. Lift, one, two. Left, right, your shoes are on backwards. Welcome to the American National Academy of Performing Arts. Dorothy Barrett co-founded the school in 1957. She still teaches here today. You can sell a number by the way you act it. Dorothy is 96 years old. That's it. Oh, okay. hi. Don't photograph me. They'll say she ought to get to a rest home. A rest home is the last place Dorothy wants to be. She's made a home for herself within these weathered walls. And the walls here contain so many stories. Walt Disney gave this to me personally. Here, I was Miss Culver City. Look, that's me. Here I am in the first movie, Mickey Rooney. I'm right here. Here's Wizard of Oz. Yep, that's Dorothy, right there in the Emerald City. <laughs> Though her role was small, even now she's still attached to that 1939 classic. And in the name of the Lollipop Kids, we want to welcome you to Munchkin Land. Remember that? Dorothy is a living, breathing embodiment of Hollywood history. That's me in Vaudeville. You know what Vaudeville was? It was show business. That was the only show business they had. Bob Hope. I had a scene with him. He tore off my skirt with a sword. This is Joan Crawford. She was my best friend. There are reminders of that bond all over. Years ago, when you became a star, they gave you the keys to the cities. These are the keys to the city from Joan Crawford. She gave them to me. Touring Dorothy's digs is like taking a trip back in time. This is uh, where I dress. Dorothy doesn't pay rent for her sprawling apartment above the dance studios. She owns half the building. This is a wardrobe room. Come here, I'll show you something. This is a sewing machine. We make costumes here. This is my office. This is the life story of Joan Crawford. Took me 35 years to do this. All these pictures. I don't know how I'm gonna leave. Yet, Dorothy may soon have no choice but to pack up her mementos and her memories and take them somewhere else. Outside, on the walls, there are signs. The man with whom Dorothy bought this building so long ago has died. His family sold off his half of the building. Dorothy's new co-owner wants her to start paying rent, plus half the renovation costs to get the building ready to sell. Dorothy says he's offered to pay her $400,000 for her half, but for her to buy him out, he wants a million dollars. Dorothy doesn't have that kind of money. I don't know. I'll be on the street. I don't know. I've got to look for a house, I guess. I don't know. Getting to know you, getting to feel free. Actress Amy Castle has been studying with Dorothy ever since she can remember. Getting to know what to say. It was Dorothy who taught her to say her own name. She always wanted to make sure you put a clear pause between your first and your last name so everybody could hear you. Dorothy Barrett. Like the Barrett's of Wimple Street. Amy Castle. Catherine Wilkinson. That's right. Catherine Wilkinson also started studying with Dorothy as a child. These days, she volunteers as a teacher. It breaks her heart to think of Dorothy having to move. We're looking at a deadline, so, you know, she, she feels like she's being kicked out on the street. <laughs> Amy and Kathy are spearheading a fundraising campaign called Save the Academy. Their goal, to raise enough money so that Dorothy can stay put. We want to raise a million dollars to save this school. It seems like a huge task, but if we had 10,000 people donate $100 each, we would hit our goal. It's just really sad at the age of 96 that she would have to move. The building sells, she, she will be taken care of, but she's going to lose the home. When you live alone, it's very hard to get old. Older. <laughs> I'm not old yet. Arm, watch your arm. Seeing how brilliantly Dorothy still shines, 
may explain why her building's new co-owner has tired of waiting for her to leave on her own.